I'm sure right. Everyone has a great story to tell about Tiong Bahru, whether like it's about growing up there, living there, or even visiting it at some point in their life. That's why I think right, something should just be left the way it is. Otherwise, how else will our young children know about these stories if you take them away? I actually did a whole walk of Tiong Bahru today. I met this hawker man selling satay. Apparently a neighbor, a lady was in front of me, she bought dirty. She's like, this uncle was selling hawker for the past 20 years, pushing his old traditional cart and, you know, burning the satay on charcoal and having it with pineapple sauce. And the lady was actually saying the fun part was in the old days, he would push the cart and he would just shout out satay and the apartments on the left and right, they would actually just lower their baskets down <laughs> and then the uncle would, you know, serve them and put the satay back and look, you know, they'll bring the baskets back up. I mean, these are the old things like the younger generations, I think we, you know, we, we just missed it. I mean, generations after generations, we, we just never go back. You know, I tell you something. I always come to Tiong Bahru Market every like two weeks uh, because that's where I get my coffee from. I think the uncle there has been around for quite some time, uh, maybe like 20 or 30 years. Uh, yeah, like last time when I was young. I remember my brothers always drive me to Tiong Bahru Market to buy coffee. But last time the market not like this, smaller. So we try to squeeze, la, but it's fun, you know? Okay, imagine how happy you all last time. And since then, I've been coming back here to get my coffee. But you know lah, with all these Starbucks and coffee bean, eh, I really hope the shop can survive lah. You know the reason why I really like Tiong Bahru? I mean, we have the new shops and stuff, but I really like it that the old shops are still here. They've been here for very long and it's good that they still are. We have been doing it for 40 years. We can't buy it like that. 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 So it's a bit slow. So this industry is just that no one wants to do it. I'm sure right, everyone has a great story to tell about Tiong Bahru. Whether like it's about growing up there, living there, or even visiting it at some point in their life. That's why I think right, something should just be left the way it is. Otherwise, how else will our young children know about these stories if you take them away? Oh my God.